Hi, everybody. I am, my word of the year I chose was change. And I have a different word every month. So for this month, I chose authentic. And I've been doing quite a bit of research on, you know, being authentic as a person, authentic as a leader, um, authentic as a business owner, and trying to figure out how authenticity is going to support my business and my team and our goals. Um, basically what I found is like by leading courageously, I am, I need to be encouraging authenticity in the workforce. And in order to encourage it, I need to fully understand what it is myself. Yes, it is, you know, channeling like my energy, um, and being able to engage and maybe willing to take more risks. Um, I shouldn't say that that's what it is, but authentic is, you know, being true to who you are is what, for me, a general description would be true to who I am. But it's a lot more than that. It truly is. It's, I need to be uh, completely 100% supportive of myself, my ideas, um, my productivity, um, my work environment. I need to make sure, you know, that I am being authentic with everything I'm doing. Um, I need to embrace authenticity completely, 100% myself in order for me to be able to put it on you more. So that's something huge that I'm going to try to focus on for the rest of the year. And I'm glad I chose authentic as my first choice of word for the year. Um, we have, I'm trying to think of what else I wanted to share with you guys. Some of the traits that I noticed that uh, authentic leaders all had in common is obviously being able to know who I am and what I stand for. I'm a very confident person. I do, I do have insecurities. I'm just like any other person. We all have our insecurities, but I'm not afraid to show myself um, and be myself and let like my value be known to others. So that was something huge about being a good authentic leader, which is what I want to be for you guys. Um, I transparently interact with all of you. I try to always, you know, reach out to you. I'm not just going to do things just to, you know, please you guys. I'm going to tell you if, you know, you're doing something wrong or if, um, you, if you need critique. I might, if I post a picture of something and I say, how does this look? I don't want you to all be like, oh, it's, you know, it, it looks so good. Yes, tell me it looks good. But if there's something wrong with it, tell me. I want you to critique me. Um, I think following my gut was another thing that for all of us being, you know, authentic leaders, I hope you all have the dream of having people underneath of you one day. So following your gut and knowing who you stand for, um, tuning into like what your gut has to tell you, um, listening, um, absorbing feedback and opinions of others before making like important decisions. That's something huge about being an authentic leader. Um, adhering to a, a code of conduct, like uh, of ethics. So being authentically able to have your own personal ethics for your business, your personal dealings, um, kind of like how like some professions like law, medicine, stuff like that, they have their own code of ethics. So for me, I have my own personal code of ethics that I'm using for Sensi since this is a, it's a business and we have a team and I'm going to make sure that I adopt like my own and exercise it with everything that I do. Um, I need to recognize that my life's work is bigger than me. So my life's purpose and work, um, are all driven by like my personal interests, my passion. Um, I'm, you know, a very organized person. I love to, um, I love organizing a lot of things. I like jumping in head first, diving into things. So for me, that's kind of, you know, how my business, I run my business. Once I get an idea, I, I go for it. Um, I also want to make sure that I can help you guys out by sharing ideas with you. I don't expect you to use everything I tell you. If one out of 10 people go, oh, hey, yeah, that helped my business, I think I'm doing something right. So for me, authentically knowing my life's work is bigger than me, and I'm not just doing this just to do it. Um, just a couple other things I think I want to focus on for my month, word of the month of authentic was humility. In order to admit you have to have humility in order, you have to admit when you're wrong or if you've made a mistake. That is a part of being authentic as well. Being able to understand if you did something wrong or maybe if something didn't work out, humility is huge to being an authentic leader. And the last 
the last thing that really spoke to me was they referred to it as embodying the three C's, uh, compassion, curiosity, and courage. So being compassionate to others, um, self-engaging like through, um, you know, self-compassion, um, super important whenever, um, if we're ever faced with like shortcomings as a leader, you have to be kind to yourself, compassionate to yourself. So if I have somebody who is falling off this month and they're just not driven and they don't want to do it anymore, I need to still tell myself it's okay. You know, they are leaving. I need to be compassionate towards myself. Um, the other C was curiosity. I am um, engaging uh, with myself whenever I lead from a place of curiosity. So if I disagree with somebody's idea or maybe I'm not able to see from their point of view, I need to be able to understand that I'm curious um, and I need to be able to understand what they're saying and not judging. So that is again, another thing about an authentic leader. And courage. Courage was the final one. Courage, uh, self-compassion, and, and curiosity are what allow courageous leaders. So I have a goal. I would like to be a courageous leader. I would like to be an authentic, courageous leader. That is huge to me. So if I can exhibit courage and fail, like self-compassion is what's going to help pick me up and help me be courageous. Courageous. Courageous again. I can't say it right now. So being an authentic leader is... A lot of things. It's not just one thing. Um, I can't just have one and not the other. So I need a bunch of these things in order to be authentic. And you don't just overnight suddenly become authentic. I can't go on here and read all this stuff and be like, oh, bam, I'm an authentic leader. No, I need to work on this. I am, I am an authentic person to my understanding. I understand, you know, what it is I understand stuff about myself. You know, I, I'm authentic to, I know who I am and what I stand for, but being an authentic leader is totally different, completely different. And it kind of blew my mind. I had to share that with you guys. So it's a constant journey and commitment in order for me to grow and for me to help you guys grow. I'm going to continue on with the word authentic um, for the rest of the year. I'm not just going to cut it off, but I'm really glad I took this is my first one for the month. That's all. Just wanted to share my word of the month of authentic and what I found. I hope y'all can uh, become authentic leaders as well. Everybody have a great day. Night, day, whichever it is.